All right, guys, so Ander, A-N-D-A-R, they actually reached out to me and sent me this laptop case for free, and they haven't seen this video before I publish it here on YouTube. Ander, which was founded in 2015 in Chandler, Arizona, they make full letter goods for iPhones, even for laptops, even wallets, and even Apple Watch bands. And right now in front of me is the helm. So we will see if this helm laptop case will do the job right now. Right, carefully open it. Come on. All right. I'm excited. Wow. You can smell the leather right away. Mm. Wow, I like it already. The good thing about this, guys, is it has this uh, protective cloth. And you can see here, Ander. But you know what, guys? In the Philippines, Andar means to move, especially when you're inside the car. Oh, let's go. Andar. Andar na. In Spanish, it's called to carry or to ride because Ander has been making good leather quality uh, products since 2015. And they're more of uh, a minimalist style. All right, guys. So yeah, right now, let's see what's inside. <laughs> You can see there's this Ander handcrafted goods established in 2015. <laughs> yeah, the smell guys, man. This Ander, the helm specially, is available in 13 inch size. 15 inch size and 16 inch size for the MacBook Pro ranging from 2016 to 2020 and the price for the 13 inch is 120 same with the one that I have for the M1 MacBook Air which is 120 as well but if you're getting the 15 to 16 inches for the MacBook Pros well it will actually be 125 US dollars and nice I really like the logo here it's minimal and uh, for me I like that uh, style it's nice that it's uh, on this side if you can tell guys there's like a snap here I think this one snaps to the screen so this one is the one on top of your Mac and we're gonna be installing that later on and there's an extra item here i don't know what this one is and guys the good thing about this full grain leather is that this will age over time let's say you have this for a while and you want to repair those scratches or you wanted to remove all the scratches here you can actually apply a leather cream which you can find on their website i'm gonna put down the link below for you to be able to click that link and buy one if necessary this is a very well handcrafted part it's robust it's real leather and the good thing about this is wow it's really sturdy and guys as you can see right now we have four metals here and these are going to hold the bottom part to your mac we have this slip right here this will actually go to the part where you see the vent let's install it right now wow that's it yeah, it has to snap in place. It's snug. It fits perfectly, huh? And well, guys, it's so easy to put. As you can see here, four sides is snapped into place. See that? It's protruding a little bit. So meaning it's well put together. It won't go anywhere. And the good thing about that is I don't really have to remove my D-Brand skin because if I do, it'll be a waste of money. I like this one too, but the thing about the D-Brand skin is that this cannot protect my Mac so well. A lot of the viewers were telling me that the D-Brand skin is not the way to go to protect my Mac. Well, I agree in some way because this one only protects what is being covered, but the sides are exposed. So this under the helm laptop case comes in handy you can tell guys this one is actually without this metal part right here this one will go in the back and this part right here will snap into place into the front or the screen in front of you and again both sides has two and another two right here so yeah let's do it Look at that, guys. So you just actually have to press it nicely. 
I'm so happy because really, it works well with the D brand skin guys, yeah. And as you can see right now, it still has this vent not being covered. This part right here is well protected as well as the part on this side. But the bottom part, the rear, it's not protected at all. It's kind of showing. I think that's the only drawback with the case. But then again, when you think about it, when you open it, and I'll show you. See, it's exposed, right? But when you open it, it makes sense because there's no way for the case of uh, the Mac, either the top or the bottom, where are they going? They will be hitting each other if this part is still covered. So it really makes sense. It added a little bit of weight to it, I can tell right now. And my Mac, it looks more premium, guys. Look at this. Wow. Also, guys, I noticed one other drawback is that I have the USB-C hub. That's the problem here. See, I won't be able to snap it in place. Why? Because this part is protruding. That's the only main thing. But it's not the end of the world. You can then plug a USB extension cable here for you to be able to use one. But still, for the price of 120 US dollars for the build quality, look at this guys. Real leather, you can't go wrong with this if you are looking for a very nice case that looks classy, professional. I'm impressed really with the build quality and everything. Those were the two only drawbacks for me is that the USB-C hub won't fit anymore. And again, when you close it, this part right here is kind of exposed as you can see right now. But then again, it's on purpose because you won't be able to open this if it's covered as well, right? This and the Helm laptop case will definitely fit your MacBook Air or MacBook Pro even though you have that skin. As you can see right now, see? They snap into place right here. Wow, great quality, guys. And this will definitely last you for a long time. So that $120 is worth it in my opinion. There you go, guys. That was my unboxing and review of the Ender the Helm laptop case for my M1, my 2020 MacBook Air. And I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you ever find this helpful, give it a like. And don't you forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. And while you're at it, don't forget to hit that bell notification as well to be notified with more awesome videos. So this has been Bernie. Thanks so much for joining me. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye for now.